all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, come ye, come ye to Bethlehem, come and behold him, born the king of angels, come let us adore him, come let Choirs of angels sing in exultation. Sing, all ye citizens of heaven above. Glory to God in the highest. Come, let us adore Him. Come, let who is that right there? That's Rudolph. Rudolph? That's the reindeer? Yes, that's the reindeer. <laughs> Good morning. We have Christmas music. We need to turn it down a little bit. So this morning, everybody had different things for breakfast. I made Titus his birthday breakfast that he requested last night. He wanted two eggs over medium, grits, toast, and he didn't say bacon, but I made some bacon because I knew that the kids would want some bacon, so. We gotta plug up the tree. Thought I already did it this morning, but I must have forgot. Usually that's one of the first things I do, along with starting a load of laundry, which I also did not do. That's why I forgot to plug up the tree. I also need to start a load of laundry real quick. And then we're gonna make hot cocoa bombs. Joy to the world. Okay, here we go. Hot cocoa bomb kit. This came from Walmart, of course. Great value. Now, I watched a couple of videos. I didn't see anybody doing a great value one, but I did see somebody making one from Target, and they didn't have really great success with the Target hot cocoa bomb kit. So, we're going to find out how this great value one is. It looks like it's kind of the same stuff. We have the chocolate wafers, and the, is this the cocoa mix? Pretty sure that's the cocoa mix. A few marshmallows. I'm also going to use some of our peppermint marshmallows to put in. So, and our different sprinkles. So we're going to kind of change them up a little bit. This one just comes with little sugar crystals. So here's the icing and the sugar crystals and the little mold for the cocoa bombs. Okay. First of all, we need to wash this. So we'll go ahead and get that done. Yeah. Now we're just drying this off. Place melting wafers and vegetable oil in a microwave safe bowl and heat on high power for 15 seconds. So we need a teaspoon of vegetable oil. I'm trying to think if I should just do half and I think I'm just gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna go with half and then we'll do the other half. So we'll just put in, how much did it say? It said a teaspoon of vegetable oil. We'll put in half a teaspoon and we'll save these to heat up when we do the other ones here in a minute. Okay, we need half a teaspoon of vegetable oil in here and we're gonna heat it for 15 second intervals until it's all melted. So yeah, we have these marshmallows. I also have some other marshmallows. We have these different Christmas sprinkles, some candy canes. Let me stir these wafers. And we might put just a couple of these little things inside. So this is for making cookies, milk chocolate, peppermint squares, and mini marshmallows. But I thought the peppermint squares and the mini marshmallows would be fun to put in with the cocoa mix inside the hot cocoa bombs. That way when they bust open, these would float up to the top. Stirring the wafers again, still not there yet. So yeah, I'm just doing this part because it's what takes the longest. The kids are gonna go ahead and start with school. And then once I get them made, I'm gonna let them fill them and then we'll close them up and decorate them. Okay, I think one more time and we'll be good here, we'll be ready. So Titus hasn't picked what he wants for his birthday supper yet. I'm thinking he's gonna pick going out to eat, we'll see. Okay, the chocolate is ready. So what we're gonna do, is take, how much did it say? It just says a little, it doesn't say how much. We're gonna go with about, I guess that's close to a tablespoon there. And we're just gonna use the back of the spoon to spread it all the way up here to the top. 
making sure we cover the whole thing. You know what? I think my little butter spreader here will work a little better for spreading it. Okay, so we're just gonna get this all in here, stick it in the refrigerator for five minutes, and then we're gonna take it out and repeat and put another layer of the chocolate on here. Something's tugging at my sleeve. I do believe it's Christmas. It's cold outside, but I'm warm within. Cause Christmas time is here. All right, so they've been in there for five minutes. They're pretty firm. We're gonna go ahead and take some chocolate. I'm gonna try to not get it in the middle. I'm just gonna try to do the sides so that we have room, you know, in the middle to put the stuff. Yeah. They play, chasing each other to and fro, laughing all the way. Oh, what a jolly Back in for five more minutes. Alright, so we've got these ready. I've got the tops in the refrigerator doing their last five minute set. So these are the ones that you're going to put the stuff in. I'm going to go around and put the cocoa in each one and then y'all can pick your toppings. We have candy canes, marshmallows, peppermint marshmallows, uh, some of these little things, little chocolate chips and peppermint things. <laughs> then whenever we seal them up, we have the sprinkles and these little sugar crystals that we're going to use to decorate the outside of them. So a teaspoon of cocoa goes into each one. Tyler's gonna help you put some stuff in yours. What do you wanna put in your cocoa bomb? Marshmallows? No? You wanna put candy canes in there? Okay. Yeah, I'll put it in your cocoa bomb right there. Good job. <laughs> one more, okay. All right, so for the tops, we have to get a plate and heat it up in the microwave until it's warm. And then we're gonna take the tops, sit them on the plates just to melt the edge a little bit so that we can seal them up. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with a minute on that plate. It should be warm enough then. I'll go ahead and be popping them out of the mold. Ooh, sprinkles are going everywhere. Okay, the plate is ready. So we take this top, we're gonna sit them on the plate Oh yeah, it starts melting pretty quick. We're just gonna melt it a little and then seal it up on top of one that we have filled. We put them back in the refrigerator for five more minutes to let them seal. We're Santa's little helpers, we make the wheels go round. Day and night, night and day, here in Christmas town. We're Santa's little helpers and it's us you wanna know. If you want a date under the mistletoe We're Santa's little helpers When we make all the toys The trinkets for the girls And the trucks for the boys We're Santa's little helpers So we know every trick Cause we wrote the book on old Saint Nick It's a foggy Christmas night Okay y'all, the cocoa bombs are done. They're actually not as hard as I thought they were gonna be. It did take a little while because you know you have to keep melting the wafers, sticking them in the refrigerator, and definitely when you put them on the plate to warm them up so you can seal them, don't leave them on the plate for too long or they melt too much and lose their, like they get small, like they don't close good. See that one? Don't close, it didn't close too great. But that's okay, the kids are about to make theirs anyway, so yeah. It would be really nice Christmas gifts. Wrap them in a nice little Christmassy gift wrap or just clear wrap so you can see the decoration on them. This was Jonas, he did a Christmas tree. I tried a Christmas tree here. At first I was actually trying a snowman and then it looked more like a Christmas tree, so I went with that. Everything is white, glimmering, silver white. 
And stillness fills the night It's Christmas A winter wonderland A snowball in each hand Take me away Christmas Day There's joy in the air Families near We give thanks for this past year Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share Oh, what a bliss A green red delight With glimmering silver white You dazzle us all from big to small Warm laughter and white smiles My presents stacked in piles Take me away Christmas Day